Kasuge X li- Tutor Listener Part 1 out of 2 Written by Rip underscore Ross 21 On Wattpad, link in the description You're hired at UA at the age of 16 because you're really smart when it comes to fast thinking and math. So they hired you for class 1A to walk around to observe them and see if they need any help with anything. But at the same time, you're also ki- kind of a student here. You met sometime, some interesting people on the way, and one catches your eyes. Wayne's point of view. It's been about two weeks. I like working here since it's, since it's nice and people here are really nice as well, for like two. But I do miss my old job, even if I did get c- catcalled at times. Today I believe we are going gonna go on a field trip to the beach for the class hand work. Surprising Aristrad led this surprisingly surprisingly Aristrad Aristrad let this happen. I walked up the last flight of stairs and walked into class one store. I walked in to see the class with their bags near them. Some guys were in trunks and girls were wearing their tank top and shorts. Minato being his his perverted self drooling over the girls. I smiled and shaking my head. I see a chaka waving at me. I wave back. Wait, when? Why don't you have anything ha- have anything that speech attired? I laugh as everyone is looking at me. Minato nodding. Yeah, I bet you look good under all that clothes. I roll my eyes. I didn't really want to get in the water, but my bikini is under my clothes. In case I change my mind. In case I change my mind. I walked towards the girls. Oh, them. Oh, makes sense. Do you know what beach we're going to? I shake my head. No clue. All my said is going to be a surprise. I nodded and continued wa- talking of oftenly turning to me and asking for my opinion. I look around the spot, spotting Midoriya, struggling with some work that I did yesterday. I walk, on, I walk over to him. Hey Deku, everything alright? He jumps at my voice and says, Oh, hey Wayne. I- yeah, I don't need help though. I do need help though. I smile at him and lean over to see what he needs help with. At a few minutes, he understood, understands it and thanks me. I smile once again and walk back over to the girls. But I stopped midway once I heard, once I heard his voice. Oi, nerd, come over here. I look over to see him leaning back against his chair with his feet on top of his desk. His arms crossed over his red ruby eyes, looking into my eye colored ones. I let out a sigh and walked over to him. Yes, stupid. I shove his face off the desk and sit on it. Claire says me. Okay, fine. Bye then. I get up and leave, but he grabs me by the waist and sits me back down on top of his desk. I slightly blush at his hand staying on my waist for a bit longer. He pulls away and looks another direction than my face. And then help with some freaking math homework. I giggle and he said steps back. He glares at me but then turned into a soft stare. I stop I stop and look at him. What? Stop staring. I look down to see his paper with erased shavings and some parts with paper ripped. He got mad and freaking earth at the freaking paper. I'll be back. I get off his desk and walk to the front of the class to get a new clean worksheet. Walk back over and hop back onto his desk. I see. I place the paper in front of him and grab his pencil. Okay, so what do you do first? The, that's the freaking problem. I don't know. I groan. I feel my phone vibrate in my pocket and I take it out. I'm... I'm... I might... You, I'm bringing the students down the, to the front. Oh, the bus are ready. Okay, we are on the way. Okay, everyone, let's head down to the front of the school. All my just texted me that we, that the bus already is here. I'll pop his desk. 
Here, how about this? After class trip, we can go over to your house and I can help you with the math homework, okay? He growl, growls. Fine, whatever. He stands up and pulls the new paper sheet in his bag. I walk out, out with Kishima, Kaminari, and Zero. I smile and shake my head. <coughs> I grab my gym bag. Make sure that the door is locked. But before I walk out, I see the piece of paper in the trash that has my name. With curiosity, I lean over and take it out of the trash. I lean my head out of the door to see them walking downstairs. I look down, but get a text to hurry or else we will be late. I just stuff it into my pocket with my back shorts and walk out. I run down the stairs to see the poor. Boring, see them boring, boarding the bus already. When? What took you so long? I look over to see most of them looking at me. Yeah, we thought you were behind us. I looked over to Jiro. Uh, nothing, just spaced out. I smile and get into the bus. I take off my air, earphones and zone out for a while, listening to Panic at the Disco. 40 minutes has passed. 40 minutes has passed, the building started to look familiar. I look around, puzzled to see most of the class staring out the window in awe. I look over at Omar to see him smiling to himself, like a little kid. Uh, All Might, that's creepy. I got everyone's attention. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. It was a real excited to see how for you guys to see the beach we have chosen for us. I feel mad in confusion. I can't continue to look outside until I see the sign that says in big letters Welcome to Blackburn Beach. My eyes widen and the bus comes to a stop. I grab my bag and run past my friends. I jump over to a wall that bordered the sand from the concrete. Why and wait for us? I stop for a second before I start running again as most of the class starts running as well. I come to a stop at the beach. I nearly empty. It's nearly empty. Empty. And I smile while covering my mouth and my other hand in my hair. Wow, the beach is so cool. Look, the water is so clear. Oh my god, look at those fishes. I let my back fall to the floor. What the frick is wrong with you? I propose to see almost walking this way and I smile bigger. How did you find this beach? He sets down the beach umbrella and and color. I made a few calls. Eventually, everyone has already set them the time of They put on sunscreen. The girls took off their shorts and tank tops. The guys now shirtless. Wayne, why were you so happy in, in the bus? And then look at Ashiro. I used to live around here. Every day after school, I would come to see my big brother. I looked down at the necklace he gave me and smiled. Oh, that's so sweet! I laughed. Yeah, you see, the, that little Iceland island not far from here? He would go there. We made a little hut and we would bury a, co a capsule. He made a promise that once we saw each other again, this would be the first place we went. That's so manly! I laughed again. Does that mean we're going to see your body? Soon after Meneda said that, he was deep, deep down in the sand, with Bako standing over him, with a pissed face and smoke in his hands. Shut up, perv! I rolled my eyes. And do I have to? All the girl yell. All the girls yell. Yes! I shake my head, but, but grab my gym. My grab my gym. I'll be back. I'm going to change into like you said, beach attire. I walk over to the restroom and change into. There's a picture here. I neatly fold in my back, back long leaves shirt that had a cat that had cat face on it before, on it for later. I walked out, looking into the mirror. I decided to decided to put my hair into two cute buns. I smile and walk out. The girl squealed when they see. What? You look so adorable. I laughed. <laughs> Thanks. I get this girly when I 
I get this girl in when I go out. They look at each other. We are having a night out tomorrow. I set my bags down. I sit on my table. All night, when are we leaving? All night, when are we leaving? Young Midoriya, we are leaving around 10.30. Because we are having a bonfire. They all cheered and running into the water. At a while, this one started to have chicken fights. I feel a presence sit next to me. I turn to see Tarvaki. Hey! I turn back to look over at the guy. Splash splashing the grass as Paco is just floating around. Hi, Tarvaki. It's nice. It's a nice day, isn't it? He does not. I, I get a notification on my phone. I often to see a video of my little sister when she first learned how to walk. Look what I found! Aww, uh -huh. she's so small. I miss you, sis. Me too. Hey, guess what? Where am I? Where? Back Burn Beach. No way. Yep. Lucky. I know. Got, got to go to the hut. I'll text you later. I just got some more work. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Of course. I will. Bye, I love you. Love you too. I said to place my phone down. I look over to see to see him staring at your reverse. Why don't you just go ask her out? He snapped out of it and blushed. What? I roll my eyes but smile. It's obvious that you have a thing for her. He shakes his head. I'll get rejected. How would you know? He just shrugs. I let her sigh. Here, practice with me. Pretend I'm Momo and ask me out. I turn my whole body to him. He takes a deep breath. Okay, here goes nothing. Momo, I really like you. I always seem to get happy when I see you or hear your voice. I do think about you. I do think about you sometimes. What I'm trying to say is, would you go out with me? He had closed in his eyes, <clears throat> eyes when he was about to finish, and opened them. I look at him with sparkle. With him was sparkly out. Go do it now, in the water, like just in the water. Like, just get her alone, holding her in the water. This water is so clear and perfect. I already see your wedding. I can't stop coughing. Mmm, perfect. Mmm, perfect. Just go... Go ask her out to Rocky. I'm sure she will say yes. I smile at him as he gets up. Thank you. Are you going to the water? I think about it. Actually, yeah. I'm going to go on the high slam. He gives me his hand. I happily take it. He walks over to water and slowly goes in deeper. <clears throat> I take off my clothes, revealing my black with white designs all over it. I undo my hair and walk out of over to the water. I see Paco actually swinging towards Iceland. Before I can get in to start, before I can get in, I start to get catcalled by him. Now, whoa! Look at Wayne's body. Just such a nice ass and those tits. I was about to beat his ass. <coughs> but I see Toroki using his quirk to make him freeze. I smile at him as my thank you and continue to walk deeper into the water. I start to swim and I'm soon behind Bakuko. He goes under and decided to go and I decided to go under water as well. I swim to him and grab him by the torso. When he gets back to the surface. <coughs> Hey, what the frick, Wayne? I Google. Did I scare you? It. As if. I smile and continue to swim. Once you get there, I look around and turn to Baku to see him staring at me. I blush a little bit. He has a nice body. Hmm, wondering if he is. Ah, no, 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 no. Bad Wayne. Bad Wayne. But still, uh -huh, I shake my hand. Do you want to see the hut we made? He snaps his head towards my face. Uh, sure, whatever. I grab his hand and started to pull him behind some rocks. That if they were looking over, they wouldn't be able to see us. Here! I smile at the little hut we made. This, ac this is actually a nice freaking hut. Thanks! I go inside and see some shells all over the place. Open the little window we made. I take a seat next to Bakugo. 
What do you want to do? He looks down at my legs. Then back at me. Uh, explore the island? I'm not in my head. Um, I'm too lazy. Carry me. He stands up. The frick. Get the frick up, nerd. I do dog eyes at him and I pouted. Please, Bakugo. He glares at me. Then sighs. Fun, but hurry the frick up before I change my mind. He bends down in one knee. He's back facing me. I wrap my legs around his waist and my arms around his shoulders. He stands up. He stands up and his hold on my tight, tight almost touching my butt to hold and support me up. He starts to walk deeper into the island and began to point at things I remember from when I was a little girl. I saw see a huge rock. Oh my god, go to that rock! He rolls his eyes. He walks. He rolls his eyes but walks over there. I try to look for it until I find it. Her brother names here. That's right, ours. He just grunts around my eyes and get off his back. I start to look for something sharp. I find this piece of glass from a broken beer bottle. I hold it and I hold it up to him. Will it? Will Will this work? He just shrugs. I let out a sigh. I turn towards the rock and carry K P. After that, then, I put a Y dot N. I step back and smiled. He stares at it for a few moments and continues to walk. To walk. I lift the glass and run after him. I run and hop on his back. He stumbles forward and hands go to support me, but they go, but they go to my butt. I jumped a little bit and blushed. What the freak, Wham? He thinks he grabbed my tights and starts to squeeze them. Ask me, nerd. What the freak is that? I close my eyes and bit my lower lip. Paco, you're squeezing my ass. He stops and freezes. Sorry. He continues to walk, but he's then still on my ass. We could do this for a few hours as the island is big once we get to it. It's already dark. He looks up. Yeah, that, that's I'm walking toward the hut, you dumbass. I'm out. Geez, sorry. I lay my head on his shoulder and closes my ass. After a few minutes, he taps my taps my ass. Get off. Open my eyes to see we were at the hut. I get off him and walk around the big rock to see them already getting out of the water and Alma setting up a bonfire. I step into the cold water. Him behind me, we start to swim. Once we get there, he is soon pulled away by the boys. I'm just standing there as the girls helping Al, helping Al might take off. Al might Al take all of the chocolate, marshmallows, and cake crackers out. As soon as it's Rocky walking this way, I smile at him and wave. Hey, Rocky, how did it go? He smiles at me. Please call me Shoto. It actually went great. She said yes. I hugged him. That's great, Shoto. I didn't realize that a certain someone was looking at us. I didn't realize that so. Certain someone will look it at us. As we, how long is this fanfiction? I'm getting so tired. After everything was set up, we sat all around the bonfire. Then I started to talk and laugh. I would just look at them while eating my food and drinking Pepsi. It was just 8:30, so I had two hours left. I look around and then don't unpack it all. Make eye contact for a few minutes, then I looks away. Hmm, weird. Oh, that was the end. <laughs> just, just as I said at the beginning, there is a part two to this. So I will be reading that if you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys liked it and wanted me to read the part two. But, without further ado, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, day, afternoon. Bye.